Hello, Sven the Slayer here, and today I'm going to be going over the concept of my fully automated, fully automatic brewing system. It has all the standard features. And uh, ever since hoppers were introduced, everybody's been trying to make uh, fully automated brewing systems. And mine's different because it doesn't use any water, dispensers, or rail carts. It just uses the fact that in Snapshot 13W2, we can control hoppers with redstone power now, and a short pulse will cause them to spit out one item. And also now, brewing stands will accept bottles from the back and ingredients from the top, so you can get that to not interfere. It's automated. So it dumps the bottles out, fills it up, and starts going again. No further interaction. Now you can change ingredients at any time. Because it waits to... It, it doesn't queue up the next potion until the other one's done. So as long as you're not trying to change ingredients when things are happening, it doesn't matter. And, you know, you don't want to say pick two of those because that'll just break it. You want to make sure you're actually making potions that can be made. <coughs> now storage is pretty simple. Everything's just above. And how it works. This is the same, this is my the concept I built before I actually put it into use. The ingredients hopper has a comparator off of it, and if there's anything in this, then that'll be on. The brewing station, if it only contains three water bottles, then this comparator will be off. But if it contains more than three water bottles, you know, the ingredient, then this will be on. So if both of these are off, then this torch is on, which then turns that off, and this is a, a monostable circuit, and it puts out a 12 tick pulse, which then goes over here and turns this torch off, which then allows this to suck out the ingredients from the hopper, while simultaneously turning this hopper on, or turning it off by giving it power, it's kind of weird, keeping it from giving the brewing station its items. It bugged out, but it's only a trial as long as it works for the main thing. I don't know why that happens. Um, yeah, so... Potions just collect in the chest, and it just keeps on chugging. Of course, your major limiting factor is going to be the number of bottles you can have, so you'll have to expand storage significantly for the, the bottles, but everything else stacks fairly well. It's very compact. And these are all one tick delays, just tons of repeaters. Just kind of spammed them. Uh, they can be two tick delays uh, earlier because I didn't change them from messing around with it earlier. But you can't have four tick delays because that'll make it spit out more than one item. So you have to make sure the, the pulse that goes through is very short you just saw, actually, so that means it's now working on the next potion. Back to the Serene Melons and the Health Potions. Thanks for watching.